have been fruit growers on this property since 1901. This is the driest period that our family has ever experienced. The locals here in the Perth Hills say they're seeing life disappear from the landscape. You can see it across the entire ranges, wherever the soil is shallow. Orchardist Kim Bettenay says it's more than just dry weather causing problems. One of the uh, concerning factors for the people in this valley is uh, the commercial extraction of water for bottling or making soft drinks. Every year, bottling companies siphon millions of litres of water out of the area. They take their water and they totally remove it from this natural area, this, this ecosystem. We work hard to guarantee the health and integrity of our underground sources to ensure we produce the finest, most sustainable spring water. Never fail. That's quality and sustainability delivered. That spring water comes from backyards like this one. Coca-Cola owns this property, and it's an unproclaimed groundwater area, which means they and everyone else in the region take the water for free. And it's just down the road from Kim. Winter is here. But the cracks in this dam on his property are more reminiscent of the height of summer. I was almost in tears because we, we just did not have water. We're part of a, a local tourist trade, you know, selling fruits, ciders, wines, vegetables, the whole hills experience. And we feel that <laughs> lack of water security threatens that very existence. Perth has just endured a record dry spell for eight months. Obviously, you can't blame a company for a drought. No, we can't. But what, what are your concerns about these companies taking water from the Perth Hills for commercial bottling? If this climate becomes more common, say this is a one in five year event, you're going to have to redraw the map of agriculture across Western Australia in a big way. They, as multi nationals and big companies, I think that they can afford to source their water from, up, from other places that don't deprive this stressed environment and this stressed industry. Coca-Cola announced late last week it would temporarily stop taking water from its bore in the Perth Hills because of low rainfall after community concerns prompted the company to examine the water levels. But they're not the only beverage company in the area. Asahi and Aquaworks are here too, and it's unclear how much is being bottled. These companies are managing these sources responsibly and in a sustainable way. We take sustainable use and management of these resources as our number one priority. Last week, the WA government struck a deal with companies to publicly disclose how much water they're taking, something the industry says it plans to roll out across the country. Is absolutely something uh, that we'll do in the future. Right here, right now, we're supporting uh, the WA uh, uh, community. We're supporting the WA minister. It hasn't been an issue up until now, now that um, a lot of people in the hills are really struggling to, to get water to live on. A couple of weeks ago, the severity of the situation became clear for local resident Mark Lange. One thirty in the morning, neighbour rang me up and said there's a fire heading towards the property. But when firefighters arrived on the scene, they asked for water. They, they were looking around the tanks and I said, that one's empty, <laughs> that one's half full. I've been here for 23 years. The bore was put down in 82, it's never run dry. That's according to the history and it, it hasn't run dry for me yet, uh, up until this year. Mark lives a few kilometres away from a bore owned by another spring water bottling company. It isn't lost on me the fact that the bottlers are taking water away, I've got to buy their water to drink. We're paying about six to $700 a month. Right, to keep the family going in water. It's, uh, I guess, particularly annoying that it is a commercial operation like Coca-Cola. It could be any other of the bottled water companies that get the water for free and then bottle it up and sell it um, for, for a tidy price. But the reality is that farmers, the community, in our public open spaces, all of us are extracting that groundwater and we've all got to be more 
conscious of how we use it and we've got to be smart. Western Australia is the only state which hasn't legislated any changes in line with the National Water Initiative made in 2004. It'd make it easier to restrict how much water can be taken from an entire area, like limiting extraction in the Perth Hills during a drought. Last year, WA's Water Minister Simone McGurk flagged those changes were imminent, then abandoned them, saying they were no longer necessary. In light of everything that's happened now, do you still hold that view? Look, all the information I've seen um, in terms of the information that's come on the, to us about the bottled water um, companies is that we still have quite enough controls within our current legislation. Water law expert Alex Gardner says the state is lagging behind the rest of the country. The key example I can think of is New South Wales. They have a set of water principles, water management principles. And so what that means is that in time of scarcity, the first reductions are typically for industry and commercial purposes. The trouble with Western Australia's law is it's an old model of that system. We are using non-statutory water allocation plans. That means they're not legally binding. They're not legally binding on anyone, not even government. Ripening from... In the Perth Hills, any attempts to make bottling companies pay for their water or restrict how much they take would likely mean the same for farmers like Kim. My argument with the bottling company is, bottling companies is that nothing comes back to our systems. And I'd like the government just to draw that difference first. Some locals argue putting water in plastic bottles is completely different from growing local produce. For those who just need the water to live, their point is simple. First time I've seen large swathes of trees, right? across the Perth Hills, just dying. It's brown. What we're doing is chasing a finite resource down until it's depleted. Stop taking water from up here in the hills, right? Environment can't handle it, the party's over. 